Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven, I tell you how I do it, even if you don't care. And we're continuing our in-depth look into the forces of Battlefleet Gothic's final army, the Vessels of Mars, the Adeptus Mechanicum. And I know I got a little, like, very jumbly at the end of my last video, I apologize, I um, miscalculated what my time was. But, so let me go over this a little bit slowly. Now, like I said, all Mechanicus cruisers that are not cruiser, that are not light cruisers with armor, with armor 6 POWs, can replace their torpedoes with a Novacan for 20 points, even if they're not normally allowed this, like the Goliath-class ship, which is really great. You could just have a whole army, if it's really small, just filled with Nova Cannons, which is awesome. And the Mechanicus Retribution battleship can take this trade for 10 points, which is really cool. So even though the Retribution class doesn't get the Nova Cannon, you can take it anyway and just fire the thing which is really awesome. Well, I'm not sure if the Retribution class can take the Nova Cannon, so I could be wrong on that, but either way, it's 10 points to do it with this army. And also, weapon weapon batteries that... Ha um, any cruisers that is normally equipped with 30 centimeter um, range weapon batteries can trade those in for 10 points to get 45 centimeter range weapon batteries, which is really nice. It makes those weapon batteries go further. Again, Yes, like, I know, like, I don't like firing my weapon batteries at longer range, but it's still nice, especially for those long-distant range guys. It's more dice that you can fi throw at them um, if you're r running low on lances. And it's only 10 points, which is great. And Mechanicus capital ships that utilize torpedoes can be equipped with refitted torpedoes, as described in page 156 of the Amarta Handbook, for 20 points. 30 points for the Retribution class and 10 points for the Endeavor and the... Endurance. Now, what these are is refitted torpedoes are special armaments that Games Workshop created, and they're basically torpedoes that have special rules or special applies, um, special um, abilities that they have that make them a little bit more enhanced than regular torpedoes. And Mechanicus can take this, um, can get these refitted torpedoes for 20 points, or, thir or depending on the vessel. And Mechanicus vessels can take any combination or all or none of these improvements as described, which is great. So it allows for your ships to be more customizable to fit what you want. Like if you want all of your guys to have all Nova Cannons and weapon batteries, that's great. If you don't want to take a single upgrade, you don't have to. You're not obligated to do this, which is awesome. And then they have another special rule called the Quest for Knowledge. Basically what this does is... Um, the vessels are allowed, the basically what it is is the vessel, it, the vessels of the Mechanicum are like always kind of, they're toying around with new technology and they always refit some, most of their ships with new stuff to see how things work, see if um, certain combinations of technology, if they can get alien technology to work with theirs and such happens, which is really, which causes them to have really interesting and unique ships. And with their ships that are crewed with very high, um, portion of repair servitors and tech priests um, who are immediately familiar with all these vessels and how the machines work and such a little bit better than your standard crew of any of your Imperial Navy or Space Marine forces. This allows them when Mechanicus vessels always add plus one D6 to their rolls when attempting to repair critical damage. However, because these kit, um, ships are commonly re um, relied upon to test untried or sometimes Xeno technology, for extended periods of time, Mechanicus vessels will, on occasion, suffer adverse, unanticipated consequences that in some cases may endanger the entire ship and its crew. In addition to any subplots that may be taken normally as described, a fleet, including Adeptus Mechanicum ships, must roll a single D6 against the following subplot table. So, now, basically what this is, is a special ship vessel that you roll the D6, so you get a plus one D6 whenever your Mechanicus vessels are rolling to repair themselves, is basically the long short of that really long sentence, of that paragraph there. But you also, with any subplots or any special things that you're doing, um, any scenarios and such, what you also have, there's a sub, there's a sub goal for the Adaptus Mechanicum ships. You have to roll a D6 and you pick from the following table of the Quest for Knowledge table. And you got extended duty. The knowledge can be long and interest. You roll a d6 for each Mechanicus capital ship. On a roll of a one, it takes three d. Th one, it takes one d3 damage. On a two, it suffers minus one leadership. And to take lock on or reload special orders, a rolls of three, three plus have no effect. 
and you must destroy or cripple more enemy ships than you lose. And this gains you a plus one renown if you if you succeed and zero renown if you fail. Um, so ba the renown and all that, that's more built up if you're doing campaigns and such. So I'm going to mention it, but it's basically just, you know, stuff for getting yourself, you know, upgrades and such when um, you're doing long story-based campaigns with your Battlefleet Gothic. Next on the list, if you roll a two, you got Xenologic. Due to unforeseen phenomena, the complex workings within the capital, within the within the um, capital ship of the Adaptus Mechanicum have become unreliable at best, catastrophic at worst. Roll a d6 for each Mechanicus capital ship in the fleet. On a 1, 2, or 3, roll against the critical damage table. And it's a plus 2 renown, mi plus 2 slash minus 1 renown. Um, let's see. I believe that's if you win or lose. That's what you're getting here. And mechanic, um, then there's on three, it's Mimic Drive. The Adeptus Mechanicum encountered, um, partial STC plans for a drive capable of imitating signature of a capital ship. Add a cruiser to the fleet, keeping its identity a secret. This vessel actually has, has all the characteristics of a transport ship and is worth zero victory points. If fired upon by the enemy, then the Mimic Drive is proven to be effective. You gain one renown. If they don't, you lose one renown. And then there's Sacred Vessel. The ship is an example, example of, or contains much valued um, Arcotech um, and must be protected at all costs. Choose one Mechanicus capital ship if your fleet, in your fleet, this vessel cannot be crippled or destroyed. This is a plus one if you succeed, minus one renown if you fail. Then there is um, the prize. Reliable source has confirmed that an enemy ship contains extremely valuable examples. Um, example of Ar um, Arcrotech or possibly rem remnants of a working STC system. Even the ship is, even if the ship is only crippled, it will grant an easier venture to capture it. Nominate one enemy capital ship. You must cripple or destroy. It. If the ship explodes, no renown is gained or lost. And this is a plus two if you pass, minus one, plus one if you pass, minus two if you fail. Then there is the experimental ship. If you roll a six, you get basically you recovered ancient technology or alien artifacts of something and you, or something retrofitted to a ship to change the performance in one way or another. Sometimes the results and what sometimes these are good results, sometimes these are bad results. And these modifications are in addition to any refits normally taken by the Mechanicus vessel. You roll a D6 on the following two tables to see how the ship has been altered. Reroll any results that cannot be applied. This ship must not be crippled or destroyed so that it can be examined to review the performance. Plus one renown if it, you succeed, minus one renown if you lose. And basically then, with that um, scenario, you roll an additional d6 on two charts. An improvement chart, which gives you some sort of crazy, crazy improvement upon your ship's weaponry in some way, shape, or form. And then you got a d6 of side effects. Some of these are, eh, okay and not so bad and some of them are really really bad but a lot of them basically counteract each other like the the role of number one for the improvements is negated by the role of a one on the side effects type of the ship so you gain some really cool stuff and you lose a lot with it so it kind of balances out the ship again in terms of rule rise and points since it's not really affecting its cost any more than it already has and one, give me one second here, let me just find the next page. There we are. And the other rules for them were leadership. Basically, when you roll a leadership value for them, they get they have a seven on a roll of a one. On a two to three, they have a leadership of eight. And on a four through a six, they have a leadership of nine. Any vessel that rolls a six when determining base leadership may select any one desired refit from the Mechanicus gift table instead of rolling for it randomly. This option cannot be used if the vessel embarks in... Arc Magnos Ventur Venturis. We'll talk about them in a second. They have attack rating of two. I'm not sure, too sure about what that means. Um, when I go over the rules again for my next videos, I'll get keep you informed on that. And they also have fleet commanders, which are they have you, they can have one zero to one, and you may include one Mechanicus Arch Magnos in your fleet, which must be assigned to a ship and replaces its leadership with the value shown. 
and if a fleet is worth 1,000 points or more, a Arch Magnos must be included to lead it. And an Explorer has a leadership of 8, and a Venturus has a leadership of 9. And they also have their own special rules. So one second here, let me just read this up. Okay, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to talk about this and still be able to keep this under the 10 minutes that I need it for, so I'm going to put a stop to this video now. So, until next time, this is Helios Raven, signing off.